Come on, let's go. Okay, Miss Bella is going to the vet today because she is going to start school in almost a month. So we have to get her all up to date on vaccinations. It's very exciting. Um, if you guys wonder, like, why is it always Lily that I'm talking about going to school? It's because I didn't have a car for like a year and a half. And so I had to borrow family members' cars. But Lily's school is like a good 40 minute drive. And I felt stupid to keep borrowing cars to go out there for one day and then if I got Bella in class then that's another day added on and it's you know gas prices are going up I just I really wanted my own car so I finally got one and I've been taking Bella out a lot with me as much as I possibly can and we're gonna get her going in school so um hopefully she warms up to people and other dogs because eventually I would like to get her in agility class. Also a couple other classes too that they have. But that is why we are at the vet today and why Bella really has not been in school. She was in school almost a year ago um, with my first trainer who has shut down her facility and wants to move to Florida. She, we d I did take her there for um, an obedience and if you guys remember any of those videos, Bella was very timid, very timid, um, not very confident. She struggled a lot when there is a lot of dogs around and people. So we are putting her in a shy slash fearful dog class. So it sounds perfect. It sounds like it'll go nice and slow for her and also help like build up her confidence. All right, Miss Bella. She's watching people. We gotta go inside. Let's get this party started. Bella? Yep. Miss Bella. Her heartworm test came back negative, so that's good. Now we're just getting ready for some vaccines. So this is what a terrified dog looks like at the vet. I don't know if I'm getting any of this. Bella. So Bella will often do this to comfort herself. Um, when I took her to training about a year ago, she'd get really nervous and scared and she would want to climb up my shoulders. So it's kind of hard right now. I love my vet, but they don't do fear-free um, veterinary service here. And I'm kind of thinking, we're going to go that route. So we're probably going to switch because this is not good at all. Um, and I don't want her to be stressed out every time we have to come to the vet and get vaccines and blood work and mail trims and what else. Uh, this, is, this is like really sad. And I forgot to mention, um, they took her back to trim her nails and I think do a blood draw. She pooped herself and they had to muzzle her. So, I don't know how bad that got, but I'm really not happy with that, so. And I know, like, they do the best that they can. They're really nice here, but we need to take, like, baby steps, because this is not good. All right, we are all done in there. Thank God, because she was really stressed out, and they muzzled her again to give her her shots. But... She wasn't even acting aggressive then. Oh, and this little one is exploring the car before we get going. Um, I think we're going to go to one of her favorite stores because she does love to go shopping. But uh, I talked to 
um, the front desk staff here because like I said, I, I really like this vet clinic. We've taken all of our dogs here for years. They've always been really great and the doctors are great. And um, they don't do the fear free, but they did say we're more than welcome to come here anytime we want and just hang out. We can hang out in the lobby and just get Bella used to being in the place and getting treats and going there and not actually like getting shots and all that. So I do really like that idea. So that way she can at least familiarize the place and it doesn't have to be like a bad place every time we come here. So I'll bring like her best treats and we'll just come and we'll hang out. We are finally at the store. Bella, you ready to have some fun? So anyways, uh, we're gonna go in there and do some shopping and pick up some new treats. And let me know if you've had experience with a fear-free vet clinic before, or maybe like your dog was really stressed out bad, but you guys were able to work, um, work through it without going to a fear-free vet clinic. So I'm not totally sure what we're gonna do yet. I do really appreciate the fact that our vet clinic said, you know, we can go there anytime we want and just hang out and make it a really positive experience. I think that will make a world of difference for her. But like I said, if you guys have had any experience with the fear-free vet clinics or you haven't gone there but you were able to still work through your issues and make it a more positive place, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below because today was really sad. I could not stand to see her with a muzzle on. That was awful. And so we got to work through this and figure something out. 